Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to use the data merge feature in Adobe InDesign. I'm going to show you how to incorporate several versions of information, pieces of information into an existing um, business card layout so that the design stays intact but the information will change. When you're designing business cards, if you're designing a letterhead, that the information would change, or even if it's a label for an envelope, the design would stay intact, but the information would change based on the source file. And in today's case, we're gonna be using a text file to create multiple variations of a business card. Meaning, I'll show you how to change the name, the person's title, phone number, um, and things of that nature, website, email, things like that. Instead of creating multiple pages of business cards, we can do it in one um, document and then export a master document with all the pages, and in this case, business cards. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here on my screen, I have the back of my business card and a blank canvas where I want to put um, some information here. What we're going to do first is you have to open, I'm just going to put my guides on. As you can see, I created a text frame above here and a text frame down below. This one here will contain the name and the person's title. This down here will have the phone number, email address, and website. And so let's get started. I'm going to go up to Window, go, go down to Utilities, and let's open the Data Merge. Um, panel here and the first thing you want to do is go and get the source file that you've created in my case let me just open it up to show you it's right here and it's called staff info just gonna make that a little bit bigger so you can see so the first thing you want to do is just create the name of the fields in your in your business card so the name the title phone number, email, website, and you're separating each with a simple comma. Then you're going to start listing each employee within the same document, text file. So Sarah Davidson, comma, chief executive officer. I want a P to represent phone. I put in the phone number, comma, E, period. Then I put the next uh, email address, comma, W to represent website and put in the website. Next person, Tom Seaver and so on. So title, phone number, email, website. And you can have, you can create as many of these as you want, but in this case, I only have four. Some companies have 50. So it's a lot easier to list all 50 employees in one document and bring it into InDesign that way. To create 50 versions of it rather than create 50 business card pages okay so once you've done that you just save it out as a text file and I'm just using text edit so I would go to format and you don't want it to be a, a rich text you don't want it to be an RTF because it won't take when you try to bring it into InDesign so um, I'll just convert it back to RTF when I go to format, you just want it as plain text, make plain text. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that. So it's mine's called staff in info. I'm going to close this. Okay. Now that I have my data merge window open, I'm going to go to my data merge options, which is this little icon here, the four lines, click that. And I want to select data source. So I'm going to bring in that text file that I just showed you. Click that. I'm going to click on it once and hit open. And here are all the fields, the top fields in my data source. So the name, comma, title, phone number, email, and website. So there's a couple ways of incorporating this, these into the boxes that I've created, the frames. I could simply just put my cursor in the position and click the field that I want to place there, name. And that's how it's going to show up. It's going to show up in these uh, triangular brackets, the, the word name, and then close brackets. Just think of it as a coding for now. Okay? 
So I can hit enter and do the same thing. We want the title to be next, so I'm gonna click title. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next box. Let me just grab my selection tool and click off for a second. So this is all set for now. We'll worry about styling and uh, formatting in just a second. You also have the option of clicking on the source uh, category in your data merge panel and just dragging it into the text frame like so. I would do enter, grab the next one, email, and bring it underneath. So that's another way of dragging it. You can drag it in or just click like so, okay? So right now this doesn't make a lot of sense because um, right now it just has the name, title, phone number, email, and website. So, but if I click this little preview button here, do you see in the data merge window? I'm just gonna click that and there you go. It's showing me right now the first person listed in my staff employee um, uh, data source file, okay? So it'd be Sarah Davidson. And I can click this little arrow here next to one to view the next one. There's Tom, there's Samantha, there's Sebastian, okay? So that's how you would, and you, again, you can have as many of these as you want. I only have four. But right now, let's go, let's get out of this. I'm just gonna uncheck preview. And let's say I want to style these because right now there's not much contrast in terms of one being bigger, or older, or, um, a different color. I'm going to um, highlight the word name. And I did create, I'm just gonna switch over to my properties panel for a sec. And under my styles here, text style, I created a couple. So I have staff name. So I want that to be the staff name. And you can see that's already bigger. And this here is the staff info, which I've already set. And the typeface font I'm using for this is SF Pro Display, bold and medium. The name is 11 point, the um, info is eight. And this stuff is already staff info as well. Okay, so let me just, looks like my lighting was off a little bit there. So let me just bring that up. Good, let me see how that looks. Perfect. Um, what size is that? 13, oh, 13 lighting and eight point. That's good. All right, perfect. So. What I want to do now, actually, let's reduce that. That lighting is a little too much. Um, let's go back to properties here. Uh, manage styles. And I want to double click, double click staff info, go to basic paragraph. And I just want to reduce the lighting. That's quite a bit in terms of maybe 12 works. Something like that is good. Yeah. Good, so I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm a lot happier with the lighting there. It was just a little too much. So let's take a look now. If I hit preview, there's Tom Seaver. There's Sarah Davidson with the title. Um, and there you go. Oh, I did run into a problem here where I have to increase the box here because you can see Anderson is breaking there. So go uncheck preview, click on the box and just increase the size bring it out a little bit more and now that should not be a problem okay so let's say that's it we're done I'm happy I've, I've imported the text um, if you ever want to uh, break the, the data merge source from the file you would just go up to your data merge options and remove data source okay if at any moment you want to update the data source uh, go back into your source file and make any changes to your text file. Save it. Okay. So let's just make um, let's make a change here. Let's just say um, let's change Sebastian's name to let's just say we made a mistake. It's not Richardson. It's Richards. Okay, Sebastian Richards. Go ahead and save that out. Close it. Open your data merge. I'm just gonna uncheck this here and I'm going to update the data source. Check it back on and let's see, there's the change. 
Sebastian Richards, okay? So just make sure that you make the changes in the original data source and then save it out, okay? Now, if I want to export this um, and you're finished, you just go up to back to the, the options, create merged document, and then make sure that you save all your records here. You wanna save them all and hit okay. Hit okay. And now if I go to my pages, InDesign has set up a whole new document with all the versions for me, and then I can just save it out from here, okay? That is today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon, and have a great day. Bye now.